In this problem, the resistance of one third of circular conducting loop is 5 ohms. So this is the one third portion and the resistance of the remaining two thirds and this is the two third portion. Two third portion is 2 ohms. One third and this angle should be 120 degree. The area of circle total area is 0 0.3 meter square. The points where two parts join are connected with radial wires to an ammeter of a small size placed at the center of the circle like this. The resistance of ammeter is 0 0.5 ohms. The loop is in a uniform magnetic field perpendicular to its plane. The magnitude of magnetic field vector changes with time as B is equal to 0 0.4 T. What current does the ammeter read? The ammeter is replaced by ideal voltmeter. What voltage does it read? So for question number A, this resistance is 2 ohm and this resistance is 5 ohm. Let us assume the magnetic field is perpendicular and into the plane like this. So this is the magnetic field and magnetic field is increasing with time. So magnetic field is increasing with time and dB by dt for this situation will be 0.4. So at this rate, the magnetic field is increasing at a constant rate and since magnetic field is increasing, so to decrease the increasing effect of this magnetic flux, an EMF will be induced in the anti-clockwise sense. So in this sense, an EMF will be induced in this loop. We can also take this loop also, this loop from A to B and then again back to B to A passing through a meter. This loop is also, in this loop also there will be an anti-clockwise EMF induced. Let us assume the currents. I am assuming the current in this part is equal to I1. Current in this circuit is equal to I2. I1 and I2 from junction loop, this will be I1 plus I2. I am writing loop equation for this smaller loop. For this smaller loop, writing loop equation, I am taking this smaller loop and will move in this smaller loop in anti-clockwise sense. EMF induced in this loop will be, I am putting it as, as 1. This E1 is equal to A multiplied by D by dt. Area of this loop total area of of the circle is 0.3 it is one third so area is 0.1 d by dt is 0.4 so this is the emf induced in this loop this is in the sense of uh, anti clockwise i am writing kvl equation anti clockwise 0 0.04 minus 5 into i1 and from going here to here this resistance is 0 0.5 and opposite to the current. So plus 0 0.5 I2, this is equal to 0. So this will be equation number 1. Now I am taking this uh, bigger loop from this circle. So second KVL equation I am writing like this. I am taking this complete bigger loop and suppose this is 2. EMF induced in this loop E2 is equal to the total area 0 0.3 multiplied by d by dt 0.4 it will be 0 0.12 writing the equation for this loop is 0 0.12 I am moving in anti-clockwise sense so this is positive and minus 5 I1 and this is again in the direction of current minus 2 I1 plus I2 this is equal to 0 so this is equation number 2 Solving these two equations will give the values of I1 and I2. We have to calculate the value of I2 for the first part A. So solving I2 or reading of a meter or current through the ammeter will be 16 by 675 ampere or it can be 0 0.0237 ampere. So this is the answer for the part A. Now the next part of this problem, part number B. In the next part, it is given that we are using a voltmeter in place of a meter and this voltmeter is ideal. 
if this voltmeter is ideal then its resistance will be infinite and there will be no current in this section and the current i and current i is same in this two sections same current will flow this uh, circular loop in this particular case this resistance is 5 ohm and this resistance is given as 2 ohm we can find this i from the information total emf induced in this loop so total emf induced in this circular loop will be the area area is 0 0.3 and db by dt will be as usual from the previous example previous section is 0 0.4 so total emf induced will be 0 0.12 and current is 0 0.12 divided by this total resistance 7 so this is the current passing through this loop and as we have said earlier since magnetic flux inward is increasing and the emf induced will be in the anti clockwise sense emf induced in this part of the loop will be one third of the total because it is a circular loop and electric field will be along this uh, electric field induced will be along this loop only so work done from here to here will be one third of the total work done by electric field induced so i am taking a battery which is equivalent battery for uh, this section a to b and this battery i am regarding as e1 let us assume that this point is a and this point is B. We have to calculate VA minus VB. So VA from here to here it is plus E1 minus 5 I1 this is equal to VB and this VA minus VB is equal to 5 I1 minus E1 sorry 5 I I is 0 0.12 by 7 and emf induces one third of this so one third of 0 0.1 on calculation this final answer will come out as this final answer is 0 0.0457 so this is the answer for the reading of voltmeter